is Korean Maggie here. This is a public service announcement. I'm here to make your vocabulary better. Let's talk about a big word. The word is reflect. Even though it only has seven letters, it's very broad. Reflect has two different meanings. The meanings are a reflect on your thinking and something that shines on its surface. So let's show an example. First I am going to get a mirror. Then I am going to put it in the sunlight. Now let's try to do the other meaning of reflect, which is reflection on your thinking. As you can see, it's very broad, and the word gets you to think bigger. I am going to reflect on when I went to the Bahamas with pictures. New opportunities, it, it was new for me. As you can see, reflect, reflect is an important word. vocabulary I have. Some people just like speaking little, but some other people like using some of their level vocabulary. They say things like, what up? That isn't even a complete sentence. People need to speak and use their level of vocabulary. The buildings, such like this one, that, that surround you, are built by an architect. word like artist, builder, creator, designer, engineer, inventor, planner, draftsperson, maker, originator, master builder, prime, mover. Now that's, now those are sixth grade words, sixth grade vocabulary words. Much more level of vocabulary than saying builder. I was thinking about the small vocabulary and why people use it. What is even the point of communication if people are going to just say uh, simple words? People around us need to use big vocabulary with their level of thinking. It, and an architect is a person that is the divisor, maker, or creator of anything. Everyone, please start using advanced levels of Hi, my name is Max, and I'm here to upgrade your vocab. Here's an example of enjoyment. R Michael and Riley are swinging on the swings with lollipops. Michael is in a tree having so much fun. Swinging from a tree. 
is McKenna sniffing a beautiful flower. Four kids are playing with a ball. Riley is swimming in the ocean. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. 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 Just keep swimming, swimming. Three kids came out of the movie theater quite excited. That was the best movie ever. Yes, it was. I like the part when he saves the boy. Oh, yes, that was awesome. That was the best movie ever. I want to see it again. Me too. Riley is flying a human-shaped helicopter. What fun! I'm a helicopter. I'm a helicopter. Uh, I'm a dizzy helicopter. Uh oh no. I have upgraded your vocab on enjoyment. Bye! See you later! Have fun! Hi, I am Michael Hannon. Today on Topic Talk, we will be talking about vocabulary. Why do we need bigger words? Every day people use slang terms like yo and sup bra, but they never use real words. And when some people are texting, they go LOL or TTYL. People need to juice up their vocabulary. Today's example is Telescope. When I say the word telescope, you probably think of the object that helps you look at the stars, moon, and planets in the nighttime sky. Now, you could probably, if you can, you can probably think of other meanings telescope has, but if you're thinking about the object that helps you see the nighttime sky, it can mean so much more. Telescope meaning number one, which we talked about earlier. It's the object that helps you see the nighttime sky. And here is a picture of it. The very first inventor of the telescope was um, Hans Lippershey. Telescope meaning number two. Telescope can also mean to come in you, or if you don't know what that word means, to crush. Here, in the, here is an example. I just telescoped the can. Telescope meaning number three. Telescope, can, you can also telescope a novel. So, we're going to show you a telescoped version of Three Little Pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not on the hair and like chinny chin chin. Telescope meeting number four. Telescope can also mention the constellation Telescopium. Well, that concludes today's topic talk. Make sure to use capacious, or big, if you don't know what that means, words.
bigger words so others would know more vocabulary. For example, you can use hardened in all different ways. Hardened is from Middle English meaning to strengthen. Wood is hardened because it is from a tree. What is hardened from a tree? Wood is hardened because it is from a tree. To bed. Go. As you can see, hardened means set. Did you know people can be hardened too when they don't have feelings? As you can see, it is important to use bigger quality words to make your message more exciting. Hello, my name is Luke Gibson. I'm here to improve your vocabulary. For example, the word is generate. The light bulb is generating heat. you learn more about best and persuaded you. about an outstanding vocabulary word. The word is mare. It was before 900 in the Old English time. Some people use the word horse. You need to use a more descriptive word like mare. Vocabulary is, a ho is like a horse trail. They can be long or short. On short paths, the journey is fast and simple. The longer trail is slower, more enjoyable, and requires more skill. For example, I can describe a animal as a horse, or I can use a more advanced word like mare. The word mare means female horse. It comes from the Old English word meaning nightmare or lady. You need a bigger vocabulary to describe your story or writing. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day.
better and it gets stronger and it's more interesting in the subject. But if you use something stronger and stronger vocabulary, it's like a canopy then going through a hood. Sorry, I've got to leave. But then it's some, something like a hut, and it's a lot stronger and more interesting to the listener. And if you use powerful language, your building will get a lot stronger, like a house. Did I hear you say pavilion? No. Well, pavilion is like an open tent. Like that you got right there at the table. But um, I am super vocab man, and uh, I'm here to make vocabulary stronger too. So I heard that you left with house. House is not a very, very strong vocabulary. Use boom, for example. People just like using the word boom. <laughs> People need to change the way they say boom. Now, we begin. Okay. But then it can go to a pavilion, a real strong, powerful. There. Th Stop right there. <laughs> you just said it. You just said it. You just said pavilion. Continue. But it's it's strong and it's powerful building. Wait, wait, just wait. like it. Strong. Just use powerful. Strong. Eh. That's not my word. Powerful means. Go. But if it's powerful, it's a lot better for vocabulary. And thank you very much for listening to this important podcast. And thanks to Super Vocab Man.